Hi, I'm Professor E. Welcome to the robot program. In this episode, we'll show you how to have your robot recognize emotions using the Microsoft Cognitive Emotion Cloud Services. I think you are feeling happiness. Let's join DJ in the studio to learn more. How cool is it that robots can now detect emotion? And we can do that with our easy robots. We can. The Microsoft Cognitive Services has an emotion plugin. It's hard to say. Microsoft Cognitive Services. It's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. So the Microsoft Cognitive Services has an online service which you can subscribe to, and your robot can actually tell you if you're happy or if you're sad. That's great. Let's let's see it. Yeah. So there's a reason why we have so many robots out here. First, we should describe that. Is this will apply to any easy robot, including the Developer Kit, the IO Tiny. Rolly, Adventure Bot, Six, anything you dream up. Anybody with a camera. Anybody with a camera. We're going to use JD for this example. Okay. Okay. So we're going to power him up. Starting with a freshly charged robot, as always. Always freshly charged robot. And now we want to connect to JD, but we also need to connect to the internet at the same time. So for that, I use a secondary Wi-Fi dongle connected to my computer and a USB port. But I will also, or could also, use an Ethernet port connected to my computer. And third option is you can look at the tutorial and you can connect your EZB to your router and then your computer connect to the EZB as well as the internet at the same time. Because we need the Easy Builder software connected to the internet, but we also need to be connected to our robot. Yes. So we need two connections. So the Microsoft services will be on the internet and the computer will connect to the robot. So it'll connect to both things. It's multitasking. 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 Sounds great. Okay, so we're going to load Easy Builder. And we're not going to load any project. We're going to start from a brand new, fresh project. So push new. Now we want to add the Microsoft Cognitive Services plugin to Easy Builder. So we're going to push the add button and we're going to choose get plugins. And it's going to bring us to the internet where we can now browse our, all the Easy Builder plugins and locate the Microsoft Cognitive Emotion service we're going to use and click install. Purple happy face. Purple happy face. And it'll download the install file and click on that. And the plugin will automatically install directly into Easy Builder. You can now close down your web browser and we'll click add. And from the camera tab, we will now have the Microsoft Cognitive Emotion Service. That was pretty easy. It's pretty easy. We'll add that. And now we also need to add a camera to our service as well, to our project as well. Our normal camera controls so that we can control the information going in and out of our camera. Now the Microsoft Cognitive Emotion plugin is going to require a subscription, which is free to use up to a certain point. So I think it's something like 5,000 queries you can have before you have to pay for it. So it's a lot. You're not going to have to worry about it. So push the gear button on the Microsoft Emotion plugin and then choose View Subscriptions. Press that. And that's going to bring us directly to the Microsoft Cognitive Services website where we can choose one of three ways to log in. If you have a LinkedIn account, if you have a Microsoft account, etc. I'm going to use the Microsoft account. I'll type in my email address. And of course my password. Now, because it's your first time visiting this website, you're not going to have any subscriptions already. So you're going to choose the plus button and locate the emotion preview, select it, and then scroll down to the bottom, agree to the terms of use, and subscribe. Remember to read the terms of use. Those sneaky Microsoft guys. You never know. You never know. Now, this is why what really matters is because they have now given you two keys, two developer keys. Oh, there we go. 30,000 transactions per month, 20 per minute. So you're going to have to go through a lot of emotion detection before you have to start paying for the service. That's a lot. And great thing about Microsoft is they don't ask you for a credit card to get the, uh, the preview running. That's excellent. Yeah. So we're going to choose now, this is the first key. We're going to click the show button to show us the key. Now we're going to double click on that key and right click and copy it. 
Now revisit your config and paste that key into where it says the API key. Okay, so that was key number one. That is key number one. Now that's the only key we need. Only one we need, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever the Microsoft Cognitive Service is gonna detect your emotion, we want it to be able to speak out of the robot and tell you if you're happy or if you're sad, okay? okay. So we're gonna do that while we're in here as well. We're gonna click on the gear, or sorry, on the little pencil to edit the code. Now, my deep default script editor is Blockly, which is good, because that's what we're gonna edit in. I'm gonna choose from the audio tab, say easy B. And under text, I'm going to choose create text with. I'm going to choose text here. And I'm going to type in, I think you are feeling. I'm just going to put a space at the end because now we're going to append a variable to this. And that variable is going to be the emotion description. And that's the variable that will be populated from when it detects your emotion through using the cognitive services. So we can look at the script really quickly. You'll see here that it's, the robot is going to speak, I think you're feeling, and then whatever it is that the emotion description provides. So we'll go back to our Blockly interface and click Save. So this code is going to run every time it's detecting a new emotion. Every time we push the button, and ask it to detect emotion. That's right. Now we want to connect to the robot. So I have, of course, internet access through one Wi-Fi connection, and then I'm going to connect to the robot through the second Wi-Fi connection. And I'm going to choose my robot here. Press connect. Now I'm going to connect to the robot. Now the robot's not going to initialize or actually do anything at all because we're not using the default robot project. We're just using the camera in this example. And now I'm going to connect to the camera. There we go. So now the robot can see us. Hello. Hi. So every time we push the describe image button on the screen now, the robot's going to describe whether you think it's, you're happy or sad. So let's okay. try Professor Yoda here. So you're obviously very happy. Let's be Very happy. happy. I'm so okay. excited. Here we go. Describe image. I think you are feeling happiness. I'm feeling happiness. The robot was correct. And you can see here that you have, oh, happiness is one, meaning 1%. So a very high percentage. It's in a floating point, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. Now, let's see if you can be make the robot think you're sad. Okay, okay, I don't know. I'm pretty excited. We're playing with robots. <laughs> this are. might be hard. Okay. I think you are feeling neutral. Neutral? Okay. Neutral, okay. Can I try? Yeah, let's okay. see how sad you can get. Let's see. Come on, JD. Okay, first I'm going to see if he see me, sees me being happy. I think you are feeling happy. Oh, it's right. Okay, now let's see if I can be sad. Oh, robots. I think you were feeling neutral. Neutral? Oh, my. I don't know. This, is, this might be a game at home to see if you can think the robot okay. can think you're sad. Maybe I can Here work up go. some tears. Okay. You ready? Let's see. Okay. I think you were feeling neutral. <laughs> no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, Try again. Not ready. Try again. Okay. 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 I'll tell you when I'm ready. When your eyes are open? Okay. Yeah, when my eyes are open. Okay. Prepping for the Grammys. Oh, that's I good. Think you are feeling sad. Yeah! There you go. I'm so happy you're sad. That is not an attractive <laughs> face, but it did the job. Excellent. Now we can go one step further because we want the robot maybe to trigger and look for happiness when it detect when we ask it with our with our voice. So okay. let's click add and audio. And in here we have the ability to do speech recognition. So we'll select that. And we're gonna select the gear on the speech recognition. And we're going to enter the phrase, um, how do I feel? Okay. And then the code for that, we'll push on this edit here. And we want the code that's going to be run. It's going to be run as a, as a control command. So we'll add the control command. And we'll select in here. And there's a Microsoft Cognitive Detect. We want to select that. That's going to tell the Microsoft Cognitive plugin to detect. It's equivalent to pushing the detect button every time we say, how do I feel? We'll save that. 
Now here, I'll try it out. You ready? Okay. How do I feel? Okay, now detected my confidence at very low at 0.68. So let's go back into the speech recognition control here. So it's not sure what you're saying. It's not sure what I'm saying. And we can choose the minimal confidence. So let's, let's lower the confidence. 55. Let's bring it right down to 51. 51, okay. 51. Now it's going to pick up pretty much anything I say. So let's just see if it gets it. You ready? How do I feel? I think you are feeling happiness. Good. Okay, so the robot is recognizing what you're saying, which is triggering it to then perform the cognitive analysis, takes the picture, does the analysis, and then speaks because we gave it that other script. You got it. Lots of steps involved, but it's pretty simple. That's right. And you can see with speech recognition, computers sometimes have trouble actually hearing you. So you have to go through a few different steps to get it right. Now, Easy Robot recommends using an actual real microphone plugged into your computer to detect your voice because the microphone built into your laptop, as we're demonstrating in this episode, is not the greatest. So let's try your voice and see if it works. So why don't you very loudly speak towards the robot and ask, ask say, how do I feel? How do I feel? <laughs> it worked. There we go. How do I feel? I think you are feeling happiness. See, we can do this all day now. How many different emotions can it detect? I'm not sure. Why don't you find out and let us know? So we can save this project and, of course, revisit it later if we want. We can call this the Robot Emotion Detector. <laughs>